so good morning guys um when i did this video it was already in the morning and yeah it's winter in finland it is so cold it is super super cold yeah but you know finland is more famous uh not famous but known that in winter a lot of people get depressed um i've seen in school some teenagers they even cut their veins in their arms you know they have that struggle um of doing that and with what is going on in my life yeah it's a lot if you're fighting depression or you are stressed and you feel like crying every day i don't know which route i should take i think i'm gonna take this way let me walk this way so yeah if you are having days like my days if you're you're fighting to stand to stand up if you're you have lost things you love you have lost your loved ones i want to tell you Ruthie, there's so much things you you can still live for you know there, there's so much things you know you have so much so much life so many years to continue living for um yeah it's very important guys to walk i don't know where you're gonna be watching this video from i like don't know where you're watching me from and i think the weather today is minus 13 if it's not minus 15 i can feel the cold i can feel the cold i can feel but it's beautiful it's beautiful wherever you are you wake up you start your day you start your day honey this is so beautiful guys it is super super beautiful the sun coming out there so as you wake up if you can exercise exercise i woke up and i stretched myself and i made breakfast for me breakfast for my son right now he's playing some xbox some games and rather than me being in bed and answering my business whatsapp and stuff like that <clears throat> um it's better i just take a walk you know breathe just enjoy the nature trust me it will also help you you need light when you are having uh, uh problems or so many things at once that is going on in your life it lights it's so important it's so important to open your windows it's just important to make up your bed uh yeah I think today, and guys, I want to tell you this. I have just told myself that I need to be easy with myself. And I also do want to advise you to be easy with yourself. I'm getting emotional a little bit. Be easy with yourself, you know, be easy. I have been trying like with my TikTok and I'm being consistent also with, uh, I'm being consistent with my YouTube um while i'm waiting for i've i've only put my cv i think one one place and one place i went physically and i need to put my cvs to other places as well so while you're waiting for change while you're fighting um okay <laughs> give yourself some time buffet like don't clean yourself like breathe breathe one thing at a time i have so many ideas of things that i can do in my life um and also yeah i did see you go to south africa i didn't know that i was this famous in south africa until this happened i didn't know i was this famous until i saw even a vlogger that i've never seen before <laughs> um even people who are just starting they are just rejoicing and writing everywhere and making videos everywhere yeah uh, to Lisa, yeah yeah it's your time to shine with my situation and honey enjoy it while it lasts because as i tell you zero to hero you understand yeah i push i say i will say to you that Sometimes I surprise myself with what I can do. Sometimes I surprise myself with how go-getting I am. You know, guys, I'm turning back. 
I just didn't need so much. And of course, my mother is at home. I just needed to, to just breathe, you know? I needed to breathe some fresh air. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And right now, I want to record Wuti, the money that was given by this um, Samaria, <laughs> this angel that came on TikTok and gifted me with so much uh, gifts in a day. Um, what I did with it. Uh, what I actually did with that money. I want to record for you guys. And I'm setting up a small Anyana studio in my place. Right now my place is a little bit messy. But guys, this is beautiful. This, this, this is amazing. This is amazing. And if you don't know where I am, I'm in Finland, honey. I'm in Finland. I wish I could, I could flip the camera. But of course, I don't want to do it with with iphone it's a bit difficult to flip the camera uh i don't know where to flip it but because in the screen there is no button that says flip uh so yeah i'm not gonna be in the cam but you can enjoy this beauty while i tell you uguti be thankful you have a double bed yes i was just thinking in the morning uguti i woke up in a double bed honey I woke up in a double bed. I woke up and made a smooth for myself of peanuts and some milk and some plain yogurt. I woke up and got dressed in my jacket in a lot of things. Those are the things that we should be grateful for. We just like to depress ourselves and cry as if someone built you, someone was building you when you were building yourself. I mean, I built everything that I've ever had in my entire life. I, like I build it, I I, I go out, I, I put my, my time and sweat in it. So like I made it so I can still make it. I can still do it. I can still do it. Like, you know, just be thankful you woke up in a bed. Be thankful you woke up in a house. Be thankful you are warm. Be thankful for those things. Wake up and be like, God, I'm waking up in a double bed. You know, there's someone who's sleeping on the floor outside. Good to know we want to cry. And it's almost like I'll just keep saying this on my journey to you. Shift when God is shifting you from something. Let things go. When the universe is trying to tell you what you should let things go. But I also want to tell you this. Building is very hard. It's almost like building is challenging emotionally, financially. You have to give, you know, like you have to put money in, in your, in your, in your building again. You know, you have to put time, focus. And you know, like with Facebook, when I was building it, I did put focus, creativity, money, money, money. I did put money in it and a lot of money. It wasn't just me. Even the phone that I'm carrying right now, I bought it because I wanted to make videos and i had to have <clears throat> a good phone you know so if you are looking for a job right now i don't expect you're gonna wake up and in the first place that you will you apply to then you get the job don't think Uguti, you wake up there is my son's daycare that is his daycare it's not very big but it's big you know don't think Uguti, you're gonna wake up go to one place and then kaboom you are hired go to five places you are hired even me right now i don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get a job because i uh, remember that i wasn't working for a year and a half in a kitchen so the requirements i don't know but i'm very positive i'm positive that if i put the cvs in a lot of places different places um i might get i also do want to avoid although i desperately need uh, i desperately need um right now a play i mean work but i want to avoid in finland if you get hired by uh places where the the company or the restaurant is not owned by a finnish person uh usually people like from iraq or turkey or somewhere like they make you work like a slave yo you slave like you slave and then they feel like when they are paying you you didn't do nothing they are doing a favor for you so there is one place where I know also they are looking for people. But when I was doing my work practice, I did work with uh, some guy from Turkey. He was the boss. And he used to tell me to 
um deliver with my car with my petrol and when i asked him why he doesn't pay for my petrol he said because i was black i'm not saying that every uh because i've been in turkey and i love turkey and i love turkish people but i'm just saying that and also it wasn't the first place where i did experience slavery and i did also experience a a such when it's not owned by finnish i think they don't follow really the rules of the country most people that owns uh some restaurants in finland so to be honest with you i'm not sure if it's something i want to go through i'm just hoping that i can get a job by government uh through government and also just a normal uh <coughs> bigger restaurant because the ones with the pizza pizza places and yeah it's usually different and also they usually hire people who doesn't have qualification who just have an experience and yeah they and and, and they pay them so that's why sometimes you will see a restaurant is is owned by for example asian people and only asians are working inside because most of the time most of the times they will just take people from their own country bring them in europe and underpay them and i don't think that it's something that i want when i went to school so many years especially as a black person as well and then i find someone who's going to underpay me just because uh, i'm i'm an african in europe and also underpay me while i have a degree in it so like i don't I don't think I deserve such and I don't think I'm going to allow uh such. Okay guys, that's my car. <laughs> that's my car right there, the red one. And it's not very bad. It's not very bad. But you, yeah, my hands are frozen. My hands are frozen. Look at that car, guys. Look at that car. Oh my god. This country. My fingers are frozen. These ones this one because i've been holding the phone i need to put it in my jacket so no matter where you are no matter what you're doing just wake up fight that depression fight that stress don't let yourself to be depressed ah the beauty guys i will just keep showing you the beauty of the snow you know it's just beautiful it is so beautiful yeah it is super beautiful the trees oh i wish it was in this cold i wish it was in this cold but it is cold it is cold so i love you guys so much i'm gonna see you in another video